Good afternoon, baseball fans, and welcome back to Extra Innings. I am your host, William Suttle, and I'm here with Mike Myers, who pitches for the Buffalo Bisons AAA affiliate of the Toronto Blue Jays. How are you doing today, Mike? I'm good. I'm good. Thanks for having me. No problem. Thank you so much for coming on. First time you're on, uh, he is from Grove City, Ohio. He went to the University of Mississippi, also known as Ole Miss. Uh, so starting off, Grove City High School. You know, your last two years, you're really able to excel and make that jump to the powerhouse that you were able to be. You know, can you kind of touch on what you were able to do those last two years to get your name on the map to be able to get offered and go to Ole Miss? I would say the biggest thing is just kind of put myself out there, started emailing some coaches, um, kind of always had the velo, but wasn't really sure, like, pitching-wise exactly what I was doing, um, playing three sports. Um, to be honest with you, a lot of it was just, like, just compete in everything that I do. And yeah. um, I guess it was just kind of more meant to be than maybe I, like, like when like I started strictly focusing on baseball, it was just like I love to compete and I love uh, basketball and football just as much as I love baseball. Yeah, and I think also playing the three sports really helps because it keeps you conditioned, it keeps you in shape. You know, it's able you're able to go from one sport to the other and not have that decline of oh I've been sitting on the couch for a couple months, <laughs> I haven't been getting into it. Um, so you know, how was that jump going from a small town at the time in Grove City to Ole Miss? There was there is definitely some some differences from up here to to, to down in the south, but um, it wasn't too bad just because Oxford just a small college town. Okay. Um, you know, kind of grew up, you know, going to high state games and all that stuff. So I kind of yeah, you're you know, familiar, familiar with that with, campus. Familiar field. with the big campus, um, but at the time, um, I thought Ole Miss was kind of the best of both worlds. Um, the big time sports, but there were only I think when I went there maybe like seventeen thousand students. Wow. So not not overwhelming. Um, by any means, and like a walkable campus, so you kind of had that that small campus feel, but with the big time athletics. Nice. And then you know, you three years at Ole Miss, get drafted in 2013 by the Cardinals. Um, can you kind of touch on a little bit? You spent the bulk of your career with the Cardinals. Um, did you learn anything from any of the coaches through all the organizations, or you know, maybe somebody from like Yadier Molina who caught you, or you know, your manager at one point who Mike Matheny is from Reynoldsburg, Ohio. Were you able to uh, learn anything in your young career from the Cardinals? Absolutely. The, the Cardinals do an incredible job of um, bringing back veterans and, and the veterans kind of paying it forward to, to guys that they hit, you know, what they learned from, from guys, you know, when they were coming up and, you know, they bring in Hall of Famers that are around all the time. So I would say the Cardinals do that better than anybody um, as far as just like having so many uh, resources for you just to, to pick their brain about the game of baseball. Yeah. And I would say like one thing that just kind of quickly – learned in the Cardinals organization that everybody has their own journey and like that's what makes baseball cool. Oh, um, for you sure. know, like it's hard to get drafted if you don't go to the big school in football, but in baseball that's that's not true. You know, you got the high school, the JUCO, the the D three, the D two, D one, you know, you got guys making debuts at twenty, twenty one and you got guys making their debut at thirty and yep. um, all in between can become, you know, really good big league, you know, players. So um, I would say just that that's like something that I picked up on just like continuing to like better your craft and continuing to work you know work on what you can work on and just kind of staying at it yeah because everybody's journey is different you know yeah. you know look at look at now we have a uh, gentleman in the MLB who are 18 years old you know and it's crazy <laughs> to think about that and you know with your journey and you've you've been a journeyman you've been to a lot of organizations and you spent a lot of time in places and you know, it's really helped develop your career. You know, when you go somewhere new, you learn you learn something new everywhere you go. Um, and it's nice to hear, you know, like for the Cardinals, that, you know, bringing in the older guys to kind of pave the way for all the younger guys, to show you how, how things should be done. And, um, you know, especially when you started your career from now, you know, what are the big changes you've noticed in baseball? <laughs> Everybody throws a lot of <laughs> It's not the same. It's not what you, when you first got in there? No, I would say, like, t technology, there's definitely um... – more technology and I, I would say you know you spoke on the, the younger guys there's I would say a lot of because of the technology I feel like a lot of the younger guys have a much better idea of, mm -hmm. of why they're good and what what they're trying to accomplish um, and I think it just kind of sped up that development yeah uh, phase um, and just you know the information that you know we have as pitchers on hitters or the hitters have on us as pitchers and so it's I feel like that's kind of something that maybe the fans, the casual fan doesn't see. It's it's, it's truly become like a, a chess match out there because there's oh, yeah. so much info 
and you know they know your you know your go-to pitches and you know what they're trying to do in, in certain situations so and everybody now has an ipad you look in a dugout everybody's looking at an ipad and you're like are you really looking at the game or you online shop and order food after the game you know uh because back when you first started ipads were probably not that big you know no 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 uh yeah all the ipads are monitored uh, <laughs> all right there we go that's so, an answer yeah, we know now yeah they're, they're given out by mlb and there's one, I think one app on it. I don't even think there's Safari on there. So, nice. Uh, yeah. They're smart. They knew. They knew. Yeah, it's basically just just what the, the data that, that both sides are able to have. That's fair. Uh, last thing I want to touch on with you, Mike, uh, what does it mean for you to be a Grove City alum and go back, you know, year after year and give back to the community and help out the baseball program and just the community in general? Uh, I just, you know, I think it's important because people did that for me. Uh, you know, growing up, it was, you know, there were numerous athletes on my street that I, you know, kind of grew up, you know, wanting to be, you know, just like those guys, Josh Helm or, um, you know, basketball player or Josh Worthington and, and the small town feel in Grove City, you know, kind of gave you access to those guys. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I got to, to watch those guys become, you know, really good athletes um, from a young age. And so just like knowing that someone did that for me. Uh, and they just kind of like paying it forward and you know I've been at this long enough now where I've kind of seen like you know maybe some some guys I've helped out along the way are kind of doing the same you know for for younger kids uh, so I just think it, it's that like small town feel even though Grove City is a little bit bigger now yeah. is, is is what makes Grove City special and it's a snowball effect yep. you know you it's it's always or actually it's like when you go uh, into a drive through and you pay for the person behind you you're just paving the ways that the next person does it for the next person. And it's just this onward cycle that, you know, started when you were young and is going to continue to grow. Exactly. So, uh, you know, like I said, you know, the tremendous support that the Grow City always shows, you know, Grow Cityans, I guess, uh, yeah. for lack of a better term, uh, it is something that's really cool. And so having the yeah. chance to, to play here for the first time, I'm sure uh, in front of, you know, a few people from, from uh, down the road will, is, is special. Oh, for sure. And, you know, we wish you nothing but the best of luck this week and uh, with your whole time with the Bisons and uh, hopefully with the Blue Jays eventually. Uh, but Mike, we appreciate you coming on today. Uh, it was great getting to know you. Uh, Mike Myers, look this guy up. Follow this man's career. He's going to be doing really big things here. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks for having me.